right. <clears throat> I'm now getting to another stage of washing. Um, put a little, a little more detail, a little more closer in. Um, this picture is pretty segmented. Uh, I don't know if that's my style derived from this sort of uh, washing technique or um, just kind of compartmentalizing colors. I just think it's um, easier, I guess. Maybe it's, I just did that intuitively. I don't know. Um, easier for me to paint inside lines uh, or inside shapes, really. Um, separate things. So here we are. I'm using a little thicker gouache, a little more opaque um, washes um, to really get the ground, which is the, the paper, um, closer to what the ridges are. So you see this is a lot of dark uh, colored pencil on top of a little lighter, a little lighter uh, paper. And uh, what I'm doing is, is uh, going over that paper and the pencil colors in this um, making them darker. I realize I said pencil color. Uh, that is an accident. Um, but I love it because it reminds me of my wife. And uh, that is something she imparted to me. Um, though Zen practices was not one of the things that she, she imparted to me. She imparted to me um, the term pencil colors because um, that's how she says it um, I love my wife she's awesome and I think I make fun of her too much <laughs> uh, but she really is awesome she is a great uh, illustrator herself uh, designer graphic designer um, but she is doing more illustration lately and, um, doing so good. She's awesome. Um, I can't wait till she has a website and like tons of followers and, uh, also a little scared too. She can easily take uh, all of the fans in the world and, uh, I would be left with nothing. Just kidding though. Everyone, everyone has, everyone has their own fan base and uh, don't worry about other people who are doing successful, successfully in the field, even if it's your field, especially if it's in your field, you should be very happy for um, fellow illustrators, fellow creatives. Even if you're not in a creative field, you should be, you should be happy for creatives. <laughs> uh, no, just kidding. You should be happy for your peers. Um, because people are recognizing, uh, your field, your, your artistic field, your whatever field, um, people are recognizing, um, others who have worked extremely hard to get to where they, where they are now, and... That means if you work really hard, you may be at that place in the future. People are uh, loving your work and they give you awards and stuff. Um, um, awesome. Um, but you have to enjoy the process of getting there. Uh, that's something I've realized. I can't. I can't just love the idea of being an artist. I can't just love the idea of waking up, 
drinking coffee, watching YouTube videos, and then uh, getting down to work. Um, I can just love that idea. I actually have to love drinking coffee. I actually have to love uh, watching YouTube videos. Huh, just kidding. Um, I actually have to love working. I actually have to love getting down to work. And everything has to service that in my life. Like uh, drinking coffee. Do I drink coffee because it's cool and because other people drink it? Um, maybe. Um, but I don't think so. I think it helps... It helps me focus. I think it helps me give me a, an extra little boost um, to work. Excuse me if I ramble. Uh, I don't really think that many YouTube videos don't ramble, but I realize that that could not be helpful and maybe irritating for some people. Um, and I'm sorry about that, I apologize. But I also have to dedicate some space in my brain for um, mixing color, uh, kind of figuring out what I want to do. Um, working traditionally is not just like a flow of like, uh, so it's just effortless. Uh, some things are. Some things you don't have to think about, but um, making little little decisions every every um, stroke you make, really. So um, everything is fraught. Everything is fraught with second guessing yourself. What if it's like the butterfly effect? What if like, I made a stroke like 10 strokes ago and that has caused me to paint an entirely different painting? Whew, that would be freaky. Hmm. Pretty strange. But you know, maybe that's, that's how it is. But not really, because I, I have a guide. I have a guide, I have a sketch, I have a color comp. Ain't nothing happening that I don't approve. Just kidding. Um, I feel like this picture kind of did happen without my approval, or actually my forethought. I, uh, I sketched it, and um, I've got the sketch my wall right there um, so that's the basic kind of coloring the book stage um, and I really like it I like I like design and stuff so I like uh, shapes and graphic qualities of things in nature um, so but all this like all this stuff all this texture this is not my idea a great time and uh, I'm working with it. I, I really hope it, it matches uh, the qualities of my last picture of Frodo. Frodo Baggins. Um, but if it doesn't, you know, it's just another, another tool in my shed. Working on an illustration board. Working with little slightly different technique uh though i think that people will say it comes from the same hand i've been told that when you're the artist uh you think so closely to your to your work you just like evaluate everything and then you're like oh wow this doesn't this doesn't work at all or this doesn't look like my stuff at all or it's completely different will everyone like hate me will no one hire me because they don't have a consistent portfolio. Um, it hasn't happened. I have been hired uh, by people to do things, even though I have slightly different, different work in my portfolio. 
question might be, am I working toward an entirely traditional portfolio? Uh, I don't know. I have thought about it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What motivates me really is uh, having the piece uh, on my wall or on someone else's wall who's paid me a lot of money for it. Uh, and, uh, but no. Uh, that's that's a good motivator. Another good motivator is um, is the shows like Spectrum and Fantastic Art Live and the LuxCon, um, really prestigious fantasy art shows. And, uh, so many cool uh, men and women there. I just wanna, I just wanna go there and I just wanna show up. I just wanna show up with some awesome stuff and uh, blow everyone's in his mind. But I know that's not gonna happen uh, for a while because um, everyone there's so good, and I really just want approval. Uh, it's not really about blowing their mind. It's about showing off. <laughs> just kidding. Um, it's about it's about saying here I am, I I am an illustrator, I'm an artist of some degree, and I love this field. I love the work that people have produced uh, before me, my predecessors, my peers right now, um, and I and I want to honor this tradition of painting traditionally, of painting wizards and dragons, fair maidens, knights of the round table, um, sci-fi stuff. All the above. I want to celebrate, celebrate imagination with everyone. And celebrate hard work. Um, people will tell uh, by looking at a piece, you know, how much work you put into something, and um, especially if it's a traditional piece of artwork. Um, A lot of this, uh, my technique or whatever for these pieces with uh, gouache and then uh, color pencil, it's just constantly going back and forth between gouache, then putting color pencil on it, then putting gouache on it, then putting color pencil on it, and uh, I don't really know if it is the best way, but it's, uh, it's how I'm doing it, how I'm working right now. So. painting over right now with some pretty thick uh, colored pencils um, and the pigment uh, and I'm not painting with really thick gouache um, but the pigment is staying it's not like it's not like building up with from the waxiness of uh, of um, of my gouache or uh, sorry of the colored pencils it is adhering to a, to them very nicely. A little scared of what I just did there, but there's a remedy. Painted over the eyebrows. It's okay. I know. I know they're blue now, but they're in shadow. They're supposed to be blue. And I may go back and pull out some highlights. Okay. 
Turn on some audiobook uh, if I don't have anything to say, so do not be alarmed. As you would imagine, it is Fellowship of the Ring that I'm currently listening to. I love to listen to books that I'm illustrated from at the particular moment. I don't want to make these videos too long because, oh man, it's, I don't know, I don't, I'm doing something wrong probably with videos and YouTube because mine takes forever to get on, on YouTube. I'm trying to, trying to figure it out, I'm trying to work from the MOV to the MP4, whatever. I don't know, I don't have any software to convert it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right, let me uh, regroup, come back. We'll see where we go next. Thanks for listening and watching.